hey guys welcome back so right now we are in the hidden forest and we will be moving ahead to face the next main boss of this game the headless guardian ape that's right guys there is a battle with the ape in the headless form and this is the same ape which we defeated in the bodhisattva valley uh, there he is drinking from the waters of the mebu village so we have to uh, face him two times he's having two life bars and in the second phase he will call his female friend his girlfriend so at that time we will be fighting with two apes simultaneously so yeah before battle i'll just consume the right items select the right items so uh, this battle is not a prosthetic heavy battle so we won't be needing the firecracker but in the second phase we will be using this firecracker against the other ape uh, so we will be okay guys uh, just one thing before that there is also an other way to enter into this cave and that is by the poison pool of the ashina depths but i will be entering from this side because from this side we can do some extra attacks and that will be very helpful in this battle so yeah now i will just consume an aqua sugar candy to boost our attack and i will also consume a divine confetti which also increases our attack power but this divine confetti is mainly useful against apparition type enemies and this guardian ape is not an apparition type enemy but still it will boost our attack power so yeah i'm using it so guys i started right away attacking him and we have taken his first life bar so the second phase yeah there comes his girlfriend okay and she will attack us whenever we will try to attack the guardian ape so we have to be little careful about both these apes Okay so uh, I'm just waiting for the guardian ape to scream and whenever he screams his friend she will come charging toward us and at that time we can use this firecracker and deal a lot of damage to her So yeah that's my strategy right now but since this location is very confined not much space like the bodhisattva valley that was close okay they are not giving me a much opportunity yeah i think now is the time but see guys when i started attacking her the guardian ape follow So yeah, that's their strategy to defend one another. Okay. Ah, uh, no, no, no. He's too close to us. Okay, she jumped. Ah uh, no no but that guardian ape is also near. Uh, 
Okay, this doesn't look good. I'll have to. Didn't work out as expected. Okay. That was pretty close. Yeah, it could deal two, three attacks, and it has reduced her vitality to half. But yeah, still a long way to go. Ah. Uh, okay, jump, jump. Okay, not from this side. That was pretty bad. Couldn't give her the death blow. Yeah, finally I was about to. Finally, I could kill her. So thank goodness now we have only one ape to deal with, and that's not difficult. Yeah, he has to go scream now. When I needed it, he couldn't do that. That was very unfortunate. Cause if he could scream at that time, when his girlfriend was there, she would directly come and attack us and then we could have dealt. Anyways, what's done is done. Okay, I'll remove these pallets. We don't need it right now. Even this won't be much helpful. I'll at, uh, attach this spear, it's very helpful but no 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 so what I need is a pacifying agent even this mort mortal purple gold will do yeah okay we can attach it in quick items yeah this will reduce the terror status abnormality hmm. yeah okay, that was sweep attack See guys, the amount of vitality damage and posture damage to the ape just by using the spear one.
Oh no 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 run buddy run The problem with this fight is that the space is very confined means we don't have that much space to move so because of that i uh, facing the scream attack otherwise in the bodhi satwa valley there was lot of room to run and we don't even need to means we won't be getting stuck in that scream attack so yeah i'll just consume the specifying agent Okay, this Guardian Headless Cape is finished. And what do we get? Memory, a prayer bead, another prayer bead. Yeah, so we got two prayer beads. Okay, guys, so we have to do this final. Death blow. Otherwise, he won't die. So yeah, we have severed his immortality, and we acquired a skill: bestowal ninjutsu. So yeah, guys, that was the headless ape, and this is it for the video. Adios and take care.